Simon B. Everything is falling apart. Everything is going wrong. I'm not enjoying this experience right now. Hey guys, what is up? It's Zambia. Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we're gonna be reintroducing Runway Review into a new series of Drag Race. And it, this time, it's actually for the Philippine franchise because, surprise, I'm a Filipino and I know the references that they will be doing. But maybe I'm not the best person to give opinions because look at what I'm wearing right now. I stuck a freaking vinyl on my fucking forehead because it's fashion. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's fashion. <laughs> So again, I'm not qualified to judge these girls, but I'm gonna tell you what I think would make this look a little bit better, or if I approve this look. So, di na ako sa naimag video, guys. Tagal ko na huli nagfilm ng YouTube video at di ko na alam kung paano siya gawin. So, category is Jeepney or Rush Hour, which is their promo look for Drag Race Philippines. So, hey, I am editing Zion B here, so I forgot to actually explain what the promo is. So, Jeepneys are actually a form of transportation here in the Philippines. I'm showing you here, right now on the screen, on what they typically look like. And all the references will be about this type of transportation or the transportation both in the Philippines and the culture surrounding it so uh, yeah I'm gonna try and explain everything yeah bye so let's start critiquing these looks starting off with <laughs> Okay, Brigitte Ding is such a fun gal, fun loving gal. I think she's from the States too. And then she came home to the Philippines to join Drag Race Philippines. And this look, it's a little bit simpler than the other girls, but I do like how very polished it looks. I love the armor look on her corset tree. And of course, the overpowering shoulders and the little peplum on the side as well. I do wish that the peplum loses the black part, but I do like the piping that is very pure. Pink. And I love how they constructed the piece in the center that looks like a, a beetle chest. Have you seen a chest of the beetle? That kind of looks like that. So It's very fun. I love the black boots. I do wish that the black boots have a pink element or a silver element to it just to tie in the whole look together. But all in all, it's a cute look. Up next is Corazon Filipina. Filipinas. I'm sorry. Corazon Filipinas is wearing this very cute little yellow gown. But she added this front of the jeepney type of thing. I do wish that instead of like a square type of box thing i think she could have done like a tapered parallelogram to make it a little bit more flattering to her body but i do like the look of it because it looks just like a jeepney props for her for that i love the color scheme pink and yellow and silver it's very jeep it's giving neon princess i love the shoes i love the shoes especially because it's very tall buconetta down if you know what i'm saying i like the tassels on the shoulder because it has a little bit more movement to the outfit and just not just a plain old box up next is eva lequeen now this look is honestly so freaking flawless i have not seen a single damn flaw in this outfit eva lequeen is such a beautiful queen i think oh my god the mug she is stamped for the gods mama Yeah, I, she's so fucking beautiful. She looks just like a uh, evil queen as, you know, her name suggests. <laughs> but because her name is Eva La Queen, I would have loved to seen this outfit as a gown. So imagine like the two peplums on the side and then this just sleek latex black gown underneath. I think that would be so freaking regal. And with the contrast in the pink, you can see how it will shape her body so much. Yeah, I think that would give her more of a villainesque look because right now she's looking more of like the superhero rather than the antagonist so yeah that's just my take but this look is actually really stunning up next is Gigi era so Gigi era is dressed as you know the signages and the things that are displayed in front of the jeepney so you know where the root of the jeepney is I really love the color scheme here I am actually a little bit iffy about the white 
because it doesn't really go with anything in the outfits. Although I do like the tire marks that are left on the dress. That's like her dress is run over by a lot of jeepneys. So I think that's really cool. I do like that she chose like an Elizabethan silhouette here with the panniers. Oh, uh, imagine. Okay, imagine if. Her Elizabethan overdress is actually in black, in like latex black. That would be amazing. And then the silver prints on the dress would actually show up more. And I think that would round out the look very much. It's not like too much white and too much black. Also, the feathers on the hair is a bit lacking too. Maybe she can add like a black feather in there too. Simple suggestions here, I think that would make this look a little bit more edited and different. Up uh, next is Lady Morgana. She is wearing this tarp fabric outfit. I think she is inspired by the inside of the jeepney where the seats are covered in this exact same fabric. I think it's like a charol. We call it charol, but it's actually kind of like a patent leather thing. Or maybe a little bit of like a... What do you call that? Like a tarp. Like a tarp fabric that's that's like the best uh word that can i can describe it though. she kind of looking like a pink and yellow jollibee as well because of the stripes maybe we can lose the stripes actually if she is not going for the jollibee look a big chunk of pink at the Bottom. top and then a big chunk of yellow at the top the shoes are beige though so i kind of don't like that look i wish she just made like a boot cover to cover all of it or a clear shoe, maybe like a Lucite platform shoes. That would be cool too. Yeah, I think that the shoes are very disconnected with the scholar scheme of the whole outfit. I do love her hair too. The structure of the hair, it's really cool. She's beautiful. Up next is Verena Summers. Not the most extravagant look in the bunch, but it is very polished and it's very Marina as well. I think Marina is such a dancing queen that this look just reflects her and her aesthetic. I love the neon orange and the neon pink and I love that she used like a mesh um, I love that she used like a mesh Fishnet, fishnet. I love that she used like a fishnet fabric for her bodysuit because Marina Summers because but I do love that it is um, asymmetrical and there is silver pieces in there so you can tie in the chrome from the jeepneys. I would love to see more jeepney elements into this but I do understand that her aesthetic is not that kind of way. I love the star earrings, it's really cute. And also I do want that silver detailing to be spread out on the bottom as well. So you know, it looks good. She looks amazing. Up next is Minty Fresh. I really like her name, Minty Fresh such a fun surprising name I, I think i saw her drag uh, instagram before and also on tiktok i really like her work she's so fucking beautiful i think it's more horse like to put like a blinders on right so i think it's not much here it's more here so maybe that will make it look like she is the horse i do like the horse tail like the ponytail hair because it's giving the little ornaments in the top of jeepneys i love the all chrome look i love how all the chrome pieces are actually matching each other it's a little bit simpler than the rest of the looks so i do wanted her to give more of a look here maybe like a little peplum to give her more of a hip like an ariana grande take on the look and maybe the shoes could be hooves like and then her hands could have been hooves as well i think that would translate so much better it's still a cool look it's a lovely look up next is precious paula nicole and she is wearing literal motorcycle parts as her outfit and i think that is very ballsy of her to just come out here in literal metal <laughs> i like how she constructed it because she used like neon tapes to add more detail to the red motorcycle parts and how she placed everything i think it's cool to have like a wing piece right here and then like a hip piece right here i do love that she have things on her arms as well what i don't like is the pom 
pom-pom trim that she used to connect all those pieces together to her body. I do understand that it is a common trim that is found on Jipney ornaments, the ones at the top of drivers and stuff. But I do wish that was different, but I do understand the reference, so I still appreciate it. And because it's literally motorcycle parts glued to her body right now, it reads more motorcycle than a jeepney, but I'm not gonna be mad because that's ingenuity in on itself. Up next is Prince. Prince is wearing this really, really cool, like an animated version of the facade of a jeepney, and I think that's a very, very cool take on it. I love how they redesigned the front of a jeepney to look like it's angry <laughs> like and i really like the sweetheart neckline it really compliments her a lot and she did succeeded with making her body like an hourglass figure i really love that it comes down to a gown which sets her apart from everyone else and i really love that i like the braids as well i think it calls back kalesas but also the things that you pull when you have to stop the jeepney I wish she balanced the black all over the outfit. The hair could have easily been black with like the silver stones on it. But I do like the silver hair as well because it shows a lot of detail. The side mirrors are actually a bit floppy. So maybe put some interfacing in that and that would be cool. Up next is Turing Kinto. Turing has this... Turing! Turing dapat. Amazing conceptual look of like the good morning towels that the jeepney drivers always have around their necks because it's really hot in the Philippines and you need to sweat off. And I like how she played with the money in her accessories, in her multiple hands grabbing the tips. And not the tips, like the, the payment for the jeepney. <laughs> and I do like the dress that is also made of money, but I think her face is printed on the money. So that's really cool. I love the details on that. This is actually really cool, but the construction of this outfit is not the most flattering in my opinion. I think the good morning towel could have crossed her body so you can see more of her shape in there. I love the hands, the extra hands. Up next is Vita's Deluxe! Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite looks in this promo because it is well conceptualized. It's well made and she looks fucking Stunning! A fucking stunning, you fucking bitch! And it's very cohesive. I do love how she ties in the black in some areas as well. She didn't just stick it to the hair. And the only critique that I'm gonna give is I wanted the whole jeepney thing at the top to be a bit higher just so we can see her waist more. I do love the peplum, but because the peplum is higher than expected, I think the top could have been higher so you could have seen like the separation from the top and the bottom so yeah i would have loved to see more of her waist here but other than that it's a fucking stunning look oh my god there's also freaking wheels on the side of her peplum ah oh, that is so fucking good oh my gosh clean amazing stunning gorgeous venus deluxe purr Last and definitely not the least, we have Zillowette with an X. So Zillowette here is looking fucking stunning with bone straight black hair and her all black makeup. There's a juxtaposition with the neon colors printed on her blazer and I think that's amazing. She utilized a lot of details here. I love that she basically mixed all of the themes from the queens into one outfit. Like she's wearing this PVC boots which you can also find on the windows of the jeepney because the windows don't really have windows in them it's just open and airy but if it rains you need to let that pvc down so you don't get wet i love the god save camelatik on the side that's like the hanging thing on the bottom of the jeepneys i like the center corset part which shows like the front of the jeepney i love the shoes as well like the touches of silver in there it ties in the silver in the center i love the black parts of it too because some are shiny and some are not one thing that i would have changed for myself is making you know the side pieces a bit more fluffier i think this is a great look so 
that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching please like the video and let me know in the comments below that you want to see more because i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue doing this i'm so excited for this series i can't wait for the world to see how talented filipinos are and how beautiful we fucking look so yeah subscribe to this youtube channel if you want to see more of this content yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon have a great day ahead Bye, guys.